As usual, it's with ray tracing and DLSS switched on, but notice in the fine print, they've also enabled frame generation, specifically on the new 50 series, something called MFG, which is a new feature called multi-frame generation. And we've already seen frame generation on the 40 series cards. Basically, instead of rendering a new frame from scratch, it'll use the previous and current frame to kind of fake or generate a new one. And yeah, it's really, really effective in increasing the frame rate in games. So the 5090 being 2 to 2.5x faster than a 4090, I'm pretty confident in saying that's most likely because of the new multi-frame generation. Because without it, in Plague Tale Requiem, we're looking at roughly a 1.5x performance bump, which is still definitely respectable, but not as much as 2.5x. 5080, same kind of thing here. NVIDIA are kind of misleading in these charts, always using multi-frame generation for most of the benchmarks. But yeah, $200 cheaper with roughly a 1.4x performance improvement when the settings are normalized versus a 4080. That is looking like a solid improvement.